Alright, hello everybody, it's Timmy CH here, and I'm back with you with another video. And, uh, today, I'm gonna be doing my GameCube collection, which is basically all my GameCube games, um, that I own. Wait, well, yeah, basically all the GameCube games that I own. Uh, hold on a moment, I gotta go, um, get some more, be right back. Okay, so, the first game that I have... Doesn't have a bo doesn't have a box, but it's still a great game. Mario Kart Double Dash. This is a great Mario Kart game. It's one of my favorite Mario Kart games. And I would recommend it to anybody who really likes uh, Mario Kart games. This is one of the best, in my opinion. I think this is one of the best that I played. So I'd recommend this one. And so yeah. Okay. Next. Um. All right. Next. Uh. The rest of these are in the box, so, next I have Ratatouille, the game, this is the Ratatouille game of the movie, uh, as far as I played through, it's actually, a, it's actually a pretty good, uh, movie game, to be honest, um, I think it's a, actually a pretty good game, at least on the GameCube, I think it's pretty good, um, so yeah, if you don't have this game, and you really do, cause I, I really do hate movie games too, or games that had to do with movies, because most of the games that have to do with movies are really stupid. Um, you know, they're just really stupid, but this one's actually really fun, uh, surprisingly enough. I really hate a lot of the movie games, but there's actually a couple that I actually like. So inside the box, I'll go ahead and show you this real quick. This little precautions booklet that came with it. Um, and then inside, of course, you got the disc for it, so... So, yeah, a really great game, and I would actually recommend this game. I don't recommend a whole lot of the movie games, but this one's actually a really good one. So, if you find it, I think it's on a couple of other systems, too, but, um, yeah, I don't know about the other systems, but the GameCube one I know is pretty good, so, uh, so, yeah, so I would recommend that game. Uh, it's actually a really good, uh, movie game, because a lot of them aren't that good, but that one actually is pretty good. Next, I have Nickelodeon Tac 2, Tac 2, The Staff of Dreams. This is actually a really good Tac game. A lot of people don't really know about the Tac games, but they're actually really uh, good games. I know it's a Nickelodeon game, but as far as a Nickelodeon game goes, this is actually a really hard Nickelodeon game. Uh, to be honest, I you know since I it was, since it was a Nickelodeon game, I was you know expecting it to be a a, a really easy game. But it's actually really hard, and it's a, a really long game, too, surprisingly enough. And then inside, you get the manual, or at least I have the manual for it, and then the disc for the game. So, uh, yeah, really, really challenging game. I thought, since it's a Nickelodeon game, that it would be really easy, but it's actually really, really tough. At least, to me, it's really, really tough, so, yeah. Next, I have actually the prequel to the one I just showed you, which is Tack and the Power of Juju. So I have Tack 2, and I got the first Tack that came on the GameCube. It's the Player's Choice version because I couldn't find it anywhere else. Um, yeah, it's I got the Tack 2 Staff of Dreams. This is the Tack and the Power of Juju. This is a really long game too. Uh, but I would definitely recommend it because all these tech games, you know, at first I thought they were just going to be really simple and really easy to play through. But they're actually, I'm not even beating these games yet. That's how long these games are. Like, these two games, Tack of the Power of Juju and the Staff of Dreams, are really, really long and frustrating games. I don't know if it's just me, but I'm just not really good at the tech games at all. So there's the manual and then the, the disc. So, yeah. So, both of the, uh, Tack games, um, Tack and the Power of Juju, and Tack 2, the, uh, Staff of Dreams are really, really tough games, and challenging at the same time. Um, next I have, uh, Godzilla Destroy All Monsters Melee, the Player's Choice version. Uh, I don't know, it's kind of weird it says only for GameCube, but it's actually on the Xbox too, so I don't know, they probably messed that up, but... Really great Godzilla game. I think I might have showed this in my God, like in that other video, the 
uh, giant monster books, movies, and games, I think. But I'm going to show it just because it's a GameCube game, too. Again, just because it's a GameCube. <clears throat> and, inside, you get the manual and the disc. So, so, this is a really good Godzilla game. I'd recommend it to anybody. Um, they also have it for Xbox. The Xbox one actually has Cure You in it, so I wish I had the Xbox version, but, hey, you know. This has every monster except for Cure You, and I think another, I think this has, this, this copy, or this version, the GameCube version, actually has all, everything except for one stage and Cure You. The Xbox one has another, an extra stage and Cure You. Um, you don't get Mechagodzilla 3 or Cure You in it, so... But yeah, I got that game for the GameCube. And I think I also might have shown this off in another one of my videos. But I got The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker on the uh, GameCube. Only for GameCube. A uh, really great game. I've not, I've not played the HD version yet, but as far as the GameCube version goes, this is a really good game. And it's actually, believe it or not, a lot of people would disagree with me, but... Actually, this is one of my favorite games ever since 2, just because it was my first game, and I've played some of the other games, and nothing can beat this game for me. I, I know a lot of people will be mad about this, but I actually really love the game. It's one of my all-time favorites. Uh, it has no manual, sadly, but I do got the disc, obviously. So, I wouldn't know what the game's like if, if I didn't have the disc. So yeah, great, great game. As far as my opinion, I would, as far as any other game, I would pick this game over any other game, because just, it's just a fantastic game. And I've not even played this in a while, so I might go back and try to play it again. And then if I want to, I might do a Let's Play for you guys or something, so. Yeah, really great game, I'd recommend it. Uh, so yeah, Legends of Zelda The Wind Waker. Um, next I have a Player's Choice of Pack, a Double Feature, uh, Player's Choice of Pac-Man vs. and Pac-Man World 2. This comes with the a little multiplayer game called Pac-Man vs. Sadly, you have to have a Game Boy Advance just to play, that, to play this game. But I have played Pac-Man World 2, and it's a great game. So, yeah, it's a, kind of a double feature kind of game. So, yeah. So, uh, yeah, so. Um, so, I got the manual for Pac-Man World 2. Um, it's kind of cool how on the back it has sharks. So, yeah, but I got the manual for Pac-Man World 2 right there. Um, and then up here is the, uh, up here is Pac-Man Versus. The one you have to have a Game Boy Advance for just to play. But I got that game up here, and then Pac-Man World 2 right there. So it's it's uh, it's kind of interesting how it came with Pac-Man Versus and Pac-Man World 2. It's kind of a double feature type of game. So yeah, great uh, Pac-Man double feature. Uh, um, if you have a Game Boy Advance uh, and you get this, you can play Pac-Man vs. I've not played this version of Pac-Man vs. I've only played it on the DS as far as I know. Um, but yeah, I've not played that. But if you have a Game Boy Advance, I don't know. Please tell me what it's all about because I've not been able to play it because I don't have a Game Boy Advance thing for it. And then Pac-Man World 2, I, I definitely know this is a great game. So um, I don't even think I showed you the other sides. Of the thing, so there's t basically tells you about Pac-Man versus. It's basically like a 3D of Pac-Man, and then Pac-Man World 2. So yeah, tells you about both games. Yeah, both game. Uh, as far as Pac-Man World 2, that, that's a great game, but I'm not being able to see what that Pac-Man versus is. You need a Game Boy Advance, so. But yeah, great little Pac-Man double feature. Um, I've not actually played this one. This is more of my dad's game, but you know, I just keep it because dad want my dad wanted to. My dad wanted to keep it, so um, it's Torok Evolution. Uh, yeah, I mean, I've I played a little bit of it. I mainly just watched my dad play it, but yeah, I got that game. It's supposed to have like thing like dinosaurs or something in it too. So you know, it's it's it's. It, I've only played a little bit of it because it's really hard for me anyway. But I think there's supposed to be like a bunch of dinosaurs and stuff like that you have to fight. There's the disc for it. <clears throat> so, 
if you're in, it's more of like a first person shooter slash hunting game. It's, it's like a hunting, hunting game, but you have like dinosaurs and stuff. So if you're into that, pick up this game. I don't really play it that much, so I'm not for sure, but yeah. If you're into those type of games, I, I, you know, I'd recommend it, I guess, so, yeah, got that, got that game, alright, next, I have Spyro Into the Dragonfly, great, player's choice version, great, uh, Spyro game, I would definitely recommend the Spyro game, because it's actually a really good Spyro game, and, uh, it's actually really good, so, um, because I, I, I mean, I've not, you know, I've not played a lot of the Spyro games, but as far as this one, because this, this is like one of the only ones I've played. I got the manual, and then the, there's the disc, obviously. But as far as this Spyro game, it, you know, it's not my favorite, but you know, it's good as far as like a, ra a random game, because I've not played a lot of the Spyro, Spyro games. Um, so, yeah, I don't know for sure, but as far as, you know, being my first game, you know, it's, it's alright. Spyro Into the Dragonfly. Pretty good game. Uh, so, yeah. Next, I have another Pac-Man game. It's Pac-Man World Rally for the GameCube. It's actually a racing game for Pac-Man, which is kind of cool. It's kind of cool, too, because you get, uh, no, not him. But it's kind of cool right back there, you actually get to play as Dig Dug if you see him right there. So I think that's pretty cool. Uh, I think you get to play as some of the uh, classic Namco, not just Pac-Man characters, I think you get to play as some of the Namco, other Namco characters too. If, yeah, I think you have to unlock them though. So, yeah, great racing game. I've not really unlocked anything in it, because I've just not really played it that much. But Great racing game. It's, it's kind of a rip-off of... Um, yeah, it's kind of a rip-off of, you know, Mario Kart, but, yeah, so, I'm not going to show you my receipt, but I'm going to, I am going to show you the guys that I got this from, um, if I, hold on a moment, so, if you want to know where I got this thing, they gave me their card, I'm not going to show you my receipt, because, that, then you just, I don't know if you guys would want to know my receipt, so I'm not going to show you, and I think it's personal, I think my receipt's personal, so. This is the guys I got it from. Uh, they're called Two Dudes Gaming. It's basically a new gaming uh, shop that opened up. So if you're in the Elizabethton area, I'd go recommend. I'd recommend go checking Two Dudes Gaming out because they have a lot of cool games and a lot of cool gaming stuff at their place. So I'd recommend their place. Um, so yeah, if you want to go check that out. And then I got the manual and then the game. So yeah, that's basically where I got. The, um, that's basically where I got this game, was the Two Dudes Gaming I just told you guys about. So, uh, yeah, so, great game, recommend it. I got Wallace and Grummet in Project Zoo. This is actually a really good game, too. Uh, I would really, I would recommend it to anybody that likes adventure games. And if you're into Wallace and Grummet, I'd recommend it, too. So, this is just a great game in general. So, there's the manual. I think there's something else in here, but... Yeah, the, uh... Little thing. I think this is not work now, but it's like... Last Chance to Own, plus a free grommet toy. It's just like a little thingy. Or you can get, like, the movie plus a grommet toy or something, so... Yeah. And then, so yeah, I got the manual, and then the disc right there. So, yeah. <sighs> Sorry about burping all the time in my videos. I know that's really stupid, but... Yeah, I got Dance Dance Revolution Mario Mix. Great Mario... It's it's like a Revol Dance Dance Revolution game, but they it's a Mario edition. It's Mario edition, so... It's the Mario edition. You know, so... You don't have, you actually don't have to have a mat just to play this game. You can actually just use a GameCube controller, which I thought was pretty neat. So, there's the disc right there, the manual. So, it comes with the health and safety booklet, and then subscribe to Nintendo Power. Uh, uh, Nintendo Power has stopped, um, they've stopped producing magazines, so, 
So yeah, uh, they've stopped with their um, subscription service. But yeah, there's a manual in the game. So yeah, great game. And uh, I would recommend it to anybody that likes these Dance Dance Revolutions. Or if you like Mario, I'd recommend it. So that'll be part one to this video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See you later.